Hello everyone and welcome to the live session of SAP Cloud Integration Training that is on SAP BTP platform. This is your trainer Anu. So today's agenda will be that uh, what is the I mean like a difference between CPQ and CPI because uh, some of the uh, some of the I mean like a students were I mean like literally confused and all. Uh, so in the so because of that reason. I have, uh, I thought to add this one uh, in the training. So, uh, this conference will now, this conference will now be recorded. So, what is the difference between CPI and CPQ? So, now, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, we'll uh, talk about first about the CPQ. So CPQ is nothing your configure price and code and this is one of the reliable sales configuration system uh, for SAP and earlier what happened I mean like this belongs to the Calidus and uh, a letter CPQ is acquired by uh, SAP system and it is, this is on a cloud system and uh, so this is I, I mean again I mean this is a, a cloud based software as a service this is a SaaS application. Now, uh, previously what was happening, I mean uh, this variant configuration in SAP ERP was also there and uh, this functionality is there in SAP uh, CPQ also. But that solution, I mean, I mean in SAP ERP, the variant configuration, that solution lacks the powerful uh, cloud-based capabilities offered by SAP CPQ. The code creation process is quite complex and not user friendly in variant configuration in SAP ERP. This SAP CPQ enables basically the sales team to sell faster and better by reducing the overall sales cycle timeline. And with this easy to configure a solution to categorized complex products, business can go to the market quickly. Then uh, the solution provides uh, by your Salesforce team with a quick view of pricing without having to juggle multiple, pro multiple price sheet and can generate codes of more than 10,000 line in just a few seconds. So you can imagine I mean, like how that much faster is this uh, SAP CPQ you know, it is. And uh, this SAP CPQ also prevents manual errors which are basically otherwise uh, inevitable uh, in a fast paced environment and this sales team can also see all relevant discounts and margins easily for use during the coating process. This accessibility is still I mean like confidence and that your sales representative I mean this I mean you can trust that much that I mean, you, the sales team should have that much confidence that your sales representative uh, can submit the right codes to your customer without any human error. And this CPQ basically, usually, I mean, the integration between CPQ systems and all. Like, I mean, what are the systems by which this CPQ is going to connect? Is mostly happening between CRM and CPQ and CPQ and ERP system. And what are the key capabilities of uh, CPQ like fast selling uh, with guided uh, selling features, then scalable uh, cloud based applications the system. This one is then automated approval workflow and reporting, then professional proposal. I mean, generation and all, seamless connectivity and AI driven codes and all. So this is uh, this is one of the important one, uh, this AI driven codes. And now I will uh, give you the overview of each and every capabilities and all. This uh, first will go for this is scalable uh, cloud based application is thus actually it is uh, available from any place, any device, any time and C CPQ enables your sales force, sales force to, to always be responsive and productive because as I said it is available from any place, any time and from any device. Why? Because it is on the cloud. 
then sap cpq is scalable because this solution is based on native cloud architecture which is allowing it to integrate with any other cloud based applications now second one is automated approval working uh, workflow and reporting in the traditional world i mean like uh, getting an approval from a sales manager for a quote can i mean take a lots of time and because of uh, he has to do lots of validation steps and which is actually most of the time it is a repeating and all now sap cpq reduces the quote approval time drastically by making all the key information in a single click which helps sales representative to quickly respond to your customer now this professional uh, personal generation as a, here basically sap cpq comes pre built with different options for generating quotes and proposals like pdf is there documents is there dot doc dot doc uh, docx file is there now seamless integration or seamless connectivity here sap cpq comes with various pre built connector which is there to integrate the solution with both sap and non sap system whether it's a cloud based or it's a on premised system then ai driven quotes what is this basically pre built um, artifact intelligence i am mean like artificial intelligence that's nothing i am a pre built ai capabilities included in a cpq and this can give your sales team that extra edge in their sales process here sap cpq provides pricing behavior intelligence real time predictive analysis prescribed content recommendation and guided selling powered by ai so these many capabilities are there with cpq so this is what i try to explain a little bit i, I try to give you some brief idea about the cpq now we are going for cpi what is the cpi cpi is cloud platform integration or you can say it's a cloud sap ci that is a cloud integration now this one sap cpi is a middleware it is there for the integration purpose your cpq was saas and your cpi is your paas here basically you can design develop and monitor kind of thing in cpi in cpq the software is already built and you are just using it for your business purpose but in cpi basically you can integrate multiple systems you can develop or design your own integration with any other system whether it's a cpq or erp or uh, uh, crm whether it's a on premise or uh, cloud based or it's a uh, sap or non sap systems so here build is nothing your your basically you are when you are doing to develop something when you are starting the uh, coding and when you are starting the development when you are trying to integrate with any system in that case this comes under build then monitor i mean again you can do the uh, testing also if suppose you have developed something you can do the testing and monitor how message are once you have developed something once you are integrated two systems and then you wanted to see how messages are flowing from one system to another some those things comes under monitor so basically your cpi is nothing your cloud based integration tool and your cpq is nothing your application it's a kind of application which is going to be used by the business and uh, those things i mean like and we have i already covered i mean like um, what are the things cpq can do what are the capabilities cpq cpq can do so basically it helps the business but cpi will integrate applications or business whether it's a cpq 
or any other system or any other ERP system is there. Now, as I already shown you here, if you see the CPQ is there, right? CPQ is basically integrating with CRM and ERP. But how they are going to integrate? They can integrate through CPI. So you can see between CRM and CPQ, CPI is there. Then between CPQ to ERP, again, CPI is there. So if suppose CRM, if CRM is trying to send some data to CPQ or CPQ is trying to send some data to ERP, how these things will happen? It will happen through CPI, whether it comes between CRM and CPQ or it comes between CPQ to ERP. This is what the use of your CPI system here. Now, I will show you, even if you go to the CPI in discovery, you can see uh, there are around five to six packages are there, which include which, which include CPQ integration with ERP or CRM. For example, I have opened this one, which is SAP CPQ integration with SAP HANA. And if suppose I am going to the first one, you can see the CPQ is sending a data through HTTP protocol and all, and it is going to send the data to whom? It is going to send the data to S4 HANA, a kind of our ERP system. Then again, I will show you some of the, some other artifacts also. Suppose I am going for replicate material from SAP Business Suite. If I go here, you can see this S4 HANA is sending a data or information via SOAP and it is going to CPQ again via SOAP. So basically here your CPI is doing an integration okay, between S4 HANA and CPQ. So this is the use of your CPI. So, so you can imagine now, so you can imagine some data, this S4 HANA is trying to send to CPQ, though we know that what CPQ, CPQ can, can do. This is nothing but uh, basic configure and then uh, configure pricing and code, right? So here you can do your sales representative is very excited and all right they are doing their they are getting ai drive and things and all right they are getting their codes and all everything they can do but what happened s4 hana is trying to send some data to cpq or this cpq is trying to data to send some information from here to s4 hana or erp or any other system then what it will do it can't do directly so in that case the use of this cpi and it will basically integrate S4 HANA with CPQ or vice versa between CPQ and S4 HANA. This is what the use of uh, CPI in terms of CPQ. I try to say in terms of CPQ and uh, ERP, I have tried try to show you. So again, I am repeating you. The CPI is nothing your cloud platform integration, which is there to integrate. But your CPQ is basically an application. This is SAS, SAS thing. And your CPI is a PAS, platform as a service. And CPQ is a software as a service. So CPQ is basically used by the business. CPI is used by the integration content, or you can say the developer kind of thing. And the purpose of CPI is to integrate multiple system. There, one system can be your CPQ also. Hope I try to uh, give you a clear idea uh, about the CPI and CPQ. And uh, yeah, that's for the today's session. Thank you.